What's up, everybody? It's your boy DNS All Day, and I'm here to do the SmackDown review for December 9th, 2022. The headline for the day was Kurt Angle brings out a milk truck to drown Alpha Academy. All right, let me cut this down a little bit. Hold on. All right, so yeah, now this show, I, all right, y'all. Y'all actually did, like, I, now, uh, yeah. Now, the end of this show, I'm not going to really review too much. I'm going to post a link to my live stream I did last night of the final hour. So, if you want my reaction and thoughts, try to get that because I'm going to skim over it. But I will say that this show was a little different. It was like this is kind of what we've been kind of waiting for, but I don't know how long. And what I mean by that is is that they're actually letting other people win. But let's get to it, right? So it started off with the Usos defeating Sheamus and Bush to retain the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions. Now, when I seen this match, I was like, you know, it is a little boring because we've been seeing Usos fight the Brutes for like almost over two months now. You know, seeing me and them still outside. So, you know, it's like, oh, Lord, is the same stuff going to happen where they look messed up and Sammy end up getting all the, the clout? And no, believe it or not, that did not happen. I mean, it was some things popping on the outside, but it ended up being a pretty decent match, and the Usos ended up winning. And believe it or not, nothing ended up happening to them, nothing crazy. I even thought something crazy was going to happen to them later, and believe it or not, nothing really happened too bad. So I can honestly say, hey, that was good. Because at least they can can do something now. Because it's getting annoying when you keep making the Brutes look stronger than the Usos. But they supposed to be the champions. Like, it don't make no sense. But that was decent. This wasn't decent, though. L.A. Knight got yeeted backstage. I don't even know what the hell y'all mean by yeeted. What, what? All I know is, is L.A. Knight came out and he was just still complaining about all these weird things happening to him and then it was like another skit where the the creepy dude mass dude comes on again i i didn't see exactly everything but i'm tired i'm tired of seeing this you know and i'm starting to see people say this too like all right now is he even gonna wrestle come on now we almost coming into 2023 and this dude ain't wrestled yet he ain't wrestled yet I mean, he ain't even really attacked nobody yet. The, the only thing we seen him do was headbutt L.A. Knight. That was it. And then, and then we seen a whole bunch of cartoony shit after that. Like, we didn't really see anything else after that, which is kind of funny. So, again, this is getting boring. We need some action with them, like ASAP. Then we had Hit Row spark the three-way brawl with the Viking Raiders and Legato Fell Tasma. So it, it turned out to be a tag team match between Legato Del Fantasma and the Viking Raiders. So I'm like, okay, they get matches, right? But remember, Hit Row was getting jumped all over the place, never was getting cleanly beat easily in two seconds. Remember that? Now, all of a sudden, they're having an actual match. Fantasma and the Raiders are actually going at it. Like, okay. But Hit Row, I guess they got tired of that shit, and they finally are back because they, they rarely use them. But, yeah, they came out, and they rose to SmackDown on all they ass. Now, this was actually a good part to me. I like this, man. This was good because they need some redemption. That's why I say today was the day where things kind of did change a little bit. But that, but how long is this going to last? You know, you had all this other BS and all these other people constantly winning for forever. But now y'all got y'all night today, huh? We'll see. But, yeah, Hero laid the smack down on all of them, man. B-Fab even got some action in. Donna's top dollar. Man, I was going off when this was happening. Y'all didn't see my exaggeration on this. But I was like, finally, let them get something, man. Hero need to be out here looking strong, man. What's going on? So, but still disappointed also because now Viking Raiders, the old DQ, you know, so the Viking Raiders couldn't clean Del Phantasma's clocks, huh? That had to get interrupted. But when Hit Row was fighting them, they just get their clocks clean. So that was another thing. But uh, but overall, it was still good because at least y'all whooped their ass. Um, then we got the New Day backed up Ricochet in a contract signing with Gunther. And this was a crazy because, you know, they got their match coming up. And, yeah, they did a contract signing on this, which is ridiculous. They didn't even do one in last time. They never did a contract signing for the IC Bell as of lately. So now magically they want to do this. All right. 
And you know how you would think how these things would go, right? But it actually ended up turning into a match between New Day and Ricochet and Gunther and his crew, you know. And I wasn't expecting that. It turned into a brawl first, and then that's when I tuned in. I tuned in, like, in the middle of this match and whatnot. And that's when I get my whole impressions. But New Day did end up winning the match, though. So, hey. I'm looking for backstage segments because that because Kurt Angle also had a birthday party going on and Alpha Academy couldn't get invited. Let me see. Um, Karrion Cross visits Rey Mysterio. Yep, that happened. Karrion Cross was uh visiting him and basically acting like he wanted to join the dark side, kind of like what we've been signaling. We really talked about this on my live stream. I'm gonna post that in the link. So y'all can check that out, see our reactions, and see the live chat, right? Still doing Lacey Evans stuff. Um, What else? Then we got Liv Morgan, Tegan Knox, right? They won. I didn't think they were going to win this one, but you see they had to pull hella stupid distractions. Oh, man. Like I said, I ain't going to talk too much about the end because I want you guys to go watch that if y'all haven't watched that. Right, Kurt Angle holds down Alpha Academy with milk. Yeah. <laughs> right, Jay Uso suggests Sami Zayn spruce up for next week. Oh, yeah, all that juiciness. Check out on the live stream. But if I had to rate this show, I guess I'd give it a three. You you bumped yourselves up to a three with this one. Nothing too, too fantastic, but at least it was all right. Other people got some chances to win. And and some different things happen, you know. And Kurt Angle, he had his little time. He had his little fun. So this episode was a step above lately. Let's see if we can keep this up because I'm still questionable. Like Braun Strowman still did shoot some shots earlier in this episode. But we'll see. We'll see. I guess this is a quick one because, you know, this is SmackDown. Go check out that live if you didn't see it. I hope you all enjoyed this. I'll give this a three. Three out of five. Thank you. Hit that like button, comment, you know, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.